Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Dan coming with another player to the channel, y'all boys. Welcome to another video. And today we got 94 rated shapeshifters Corona double five star, guys. Double five star Corona 58 high high right foot. We bought him for 320,000 on the Xbox market. I can't believe a double five star card is that cheap at release day. That is insane. So 95 pace, 92 shooting, 93 passing, 94 dribbling. 88 defending, 88 physicality, no shooting traits in game. Um, chemistry style, we went ahead and gave this card was the anchor chemistry style. You max out the pace, you add defending to the mid slash high 90s, and then you add a little bit of physicality. So aggression goes up to 93, strength goes up to 88. Um, you don't need to touch the dribbling. The dribbling is already really, really good for a midfielder, especially since he's only 5'8. He's going to feel really, really good on the ball. Uh, shooting. Like I said, really high for a box-to-box -box midfielder. This is one of those cards where you can play him anywhere in the field. Similar to that Nkunku card, you can play him anywhere in the pitch. Same way with that Moment Zidane. It's going to be really interesting to see if this possibly could be the best midfielder in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. He looks absolutely insane. And for that price, man, we'll see what's up. By the way, guys, don't trip out that he's on 7 cam. Look at the stats. Come on. doesn't matter if he's 7, 8, or 10 cam. just want to point that out there before I get anybody... Hating in the comments. It does not matter. As long as he's 7 or tire, it's all good. Especially if they're an elite card. We're going to play some weekend league games with this card right here. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, boys. He is going to be playing in-game in a 4-4-2 as a center mid right next to Tonali team of the season. But Corona is going to be our box-to-box. -box. So he's going to be he's gonna be making forward runs. We want to see his tracking back on wide balls and all that stuff. If he has good finishing, it's going to be really fun to use this card map double five star in the midfield can't wait all right first game and we're going against interesting team nothing too crazy though it's not really too good of a team so we'll see what's up it's a good run from the card shot there we go easy finish man that's the good thing he got the double five star on the weak foot and the skills. He can literally do anything on either foot. Oh, that was nice. Oh, okay. Little roulette right there with the clean finish. That was pretty nice, man. Like I said, I'm liking the finishing and the runs this card is making. He's very aggressive. I like that a lot. That was a clean finish. Nice tackle right there. This card, man, he's nice with that dribbling. Is he going to quit the game? Oh, what a weirdo, man. What a weirdo. What a weirdo. These kids are so weird just leaving the game at 0-0. Zero, zero. Nice. Nice. Great finish, man. Good stuff from Corona. Holy crap. How did we not score that? That was a great play. It's a good ball. Great pass. Good pass right there from Corona. Good find. It's an assist for Ronaldinho, y'all boys. And it's probably going to be a rage play this game. Yeah, we're going straight into the next game. I probably should have not finessed that. I probably should have just power shot that. Good run, man. Great. This Corona car, man. He making great, great runs. Good interception. He's going to lead the counterattack. That's a good ball. Nice. Nice. Good way to recover the ball. Finds R9. Couldn't get the goal right there, but that was a great interception. Nice. Got the ball back. Good interception. I guess he has. Alright, we're going into the last game of the review right now. Last game of the review and decent team, nothing crazy. Oh, absolutely cooked Vieira right there with the reverse Elastico. Gonna find a shot away. 
Put a tackle right there. It's the second time we cooked Vieira this game with Corona's dribbling. Looks like we're gonna find El Shadow right here. Ooh, body and Kenny right there. Okay, Corona, I see you. Nice interception. Nice. Oh, what a finish. What a shot from Corona. Oh, he got absolutely baked, man. Corona is indeed a demon. It's going to be a rage quit, I think. Yep, rage quit, guys, in the last game. Going to go ahead and give you guys my verdict on this shapeshifter card right now. So, guys, Jesus Corona, 325000 on the Xbox, 325 on the PlayStation, 377 on the PC. Comparing this shapeshifter to the 85, which I believe he was double five star as well. You get a plus eight pace, plus six shooting, plus 10 passing, plus six dribbling, plus 28 defending, and plus 25 physicality. That makes the car just top tier as a box to box midfielder. He can do everything. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. this car can do everything in the pitch attack, defend, play, make, dribble, physicality wise. This car can do it all. This car can do it all. There's not. There's nothing this car can't do. He can finish. Like I said, it's just, and he feels so good on the ball. Him being 5'8 with the high, top tier dribbling, you know, it's just everything is 93 plus. Um, like I said, attack positioning. He makes great runs. This is literally like a mini hullet. This car is literally a mini hullet. It's insane. Um, there's no cons on the card. Only con I would probably say. Well, there's two cons I would say from the card. The first, they're little cons though. The first con is that he's only 5'8". Like I said, you guys know I like my midfielders tall and bulky. Preferably 5'11 and taller. But nonetheless, this is still a quality card. Quality, quality card. And the second um, small con is the links. Sevilla and Mexican links is a little, you know, hard to get in FIFA 22. Um, La Liga is obviously good. You know, you can link him to Rodrigo, the new Hazard, um, Alaba, Militao. You know, there's plenty of La Liga cards you can definitely link him up to. But nationality-wise and club-wise, it's a little tough. Um, other than that, guys, this card, there's, like I said, it's, it's hard to nickpick what else gameplay-wise, what he offers in-game. That's bad. Everything is really good. He can do everything, so... Um, He's obviously usable, so he gets a thumbs up for me. And rating-wise, it's going to be pretty surprising. I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. I think this card is literally close to perfection, honestly, from what you want from a midfielder. Pace, shot, passing, dribbling, defending, and physicality. Everything is top tier. Only thing that's holding him back from being a 10 out of 10 is the height. If he was 5'11 or taller, he would be a perfect 10 out of 10. Like, if he was, like, if this card was, like, 6'2, double 5, it would be wraps. But, you know, you know me. I like tall midfielders. But, uh, yeah, guys, this card is fire. Um, uh, Let me see the stats real quick from what we have from this card. In six games, we had six goals and four assists as a midfielder. So, that's really, really good. So, yeah. That is the player read for Jesus Corona Shapeshifters, guys. Thank you guys so much for support. Uh, next player review will be that center forward slash cam Bundesliga player called Silas. Silas, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, he's double five as well. I cannot wait to try him out. He looks absolutely cracked. Go ahead and join me in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about this Jesus Corona? Do you guys think he's a baller? Do you guys think he's super underrated for being cheap? Or do you guys agree with the price that is justifiable? Really do appreciate you guys' support. Less than 100 and 70 subscribers from 3,000. I cannot wait to hit that um, goal mark with y'all, boys. Have a beautiful day or night, and I'm out.